Hello everybody and welcome back to our Cleveland Browns player franchise. Today we take on the Cincinnati Bengals in week 14 action here in the 2016 NFL season. The Browns are looking for just their second win on the year. They enter this one at 1-11. and Hopefully it will be 2-11. and And we're trying to spoil the Bengals playoff party hopes. They're 8-4 and currently. They sit in the second wildcard seed. And we are going to get things started in the second quarter, and not in a good way. Andrew Hawkins catches a pass from us, and he immediately goes down. He grasps his shoulder, his forearm, anywhere in that area. It would be later speculated by the doctors for the Cleveland Browns and NFL doctors and all that that he would have a fractured arm. So he'll be out a couple weeks. Hopefully he returns to field soon enough. We need him. Speaking of returning to the field, let's get back to the field. This one, second and ten, we're going to roll out ourselves and then get violently tossed down by the Bengals. They're known for that, right? Playoff games, yeah, they're known for it. Vontaze Perfect, just to name one of them. However, we get a first down off Gary Barnage and then Isaiah Crowell something I'm pretty sure you guys have not seen all year long for us, mainly because we didn't even play until weeks five or six, but something you haven't seen, I'm pretty sure, a rushing touchdown. The juke move by Crowell, and then to get out of the tight area in there, that is MVP running. So Crowell gets a touchdown, but then we go fourth quarter, four minutes left. Here we're looking for Corey Coleman to tie things up. We're down seven after the Bengals fumbled the ball on a short field we only had to go 22 yards guess what there's a good chunk of it right there on the slant to Josh Gordon and then from the three yard line on the game on the line basically we're gonna put it on our own shoulders we're gonna run in no hesitation no one even going to challenge us we had time in the pocket if we needed it maybe could have rolled out to the right but we go into overtime 17 all each team, they fail to score. But who wouldn't fail to pick up the big yardage when we needed it? Terrell Pryor was your man. A near pick six or an interception just in general goes for a big chunk of yardage. And then on third and six, give it to Crowell. Let him run the clock out. Bengals, they call a timeout. And, uh, well... Being that both teams messed up their first possession, next score wins. That's how it works in NFL overtime, and that's how it works here. 115 left in OT. That's all the Browns would need. The Cleveland Browns win their second game over rival Cincinnati Bengals. Andy Dawn is disgusted with his performance. Only 17 points against the Browns. You got to do better than that, Andy. Sorry, bud. But the Browns... Ironically, we pick up their second win, we picked up their first win. We have picked up both Browns wins. I think we uh, covered this in the last episode, but we are going to start, or at least should start, every game from here on out. But what a day we had. What a day for Terrell Pryor. What a day for Corey Coleman. Hopefully, Andrew Hawkins does get better. Isaiah Crowell, if he picks it up late next year, we might, you know, we might win like, six or seven games it's all about making good decisions week by week and this week was good we'll see you later